Pretty Girl Club. I want to talk about the reason that I only hang out with bougie women. That's right. I said it. I only hang out with women who are uh, quote unquote stuck up or bougie or quote unquote uppity. And the reason why is because first of all, if you look up the definition of bougie, it says that it is an American slang term that means rich, luxurious, special, or fancy. Some synonyms include chic, classy, deluxe, elegant, exclusive, fashionable, grand, high class. So why wouldn't I want to hang out with women who share those qualities with me? And I've noticed that in the black community, people will shame you for, for being bougie, which is basically just being classy. I mean, literally look at the definition right here on the screen. Anytime somebody calls you bougie as an insult, they're literally saying that you are classy as an insult. They're saying that you are high class and they're using it as an insult. But I like hanging out with bougie women because if a woman is on her own level up journey, she doesn't have time to be jealous of me. And so I've noticed that anytime I get around women who are doing their own thing, they are so self-focused and they're so leveled up to the point where it actually inspires me. I actually love bragging on my friends. Um, when I talk about having bougie friends, like just to give some background, some of my friends work in the medical field, whether they are doctors or like nurses, maybe nurse managers, project managers, um, attorneys, whatever, those types of jobs. And not just in terms of jobs, but also in terms of their social lives. Like I know of some girls who do influencing, like fitness influencing and stuff. So they already understand what it's like to be envied. And so that's another thing that I like about being around leveled up women because they have more empathy for fellow high class women who can relate to people trying to sabotage you. Another thing that you have to think about too when it comes to friendships is what are your social climbing goals? When I talk about social climbing, a lot of people think that I mean you want to become famous or you want to be like some groupie or something. And I mean, for some people that is social climbing for them. But my social climbing goals are to explore the city that I live in, to go to exclusive fun events, um, to go to beautiful places, luxurious places where I can like get content, whether it's for my Instagram, whether it's just for myself. Um, I want to be able to create positive memories and just kind of have like this soft life. So that's another question you can ask yourself. What is the soft life to you? Because I know that when I think of a soft life for myself, I kind of think of, you know that show, Emily in Paris? I think of myself like that, except for I work for myself, and then my friends are all like these beautiful fashionistas, and then we have like a girl group, and we go out to cafes and stuff. That is what I think of in my head when I think about the soft life. I think that too many people have spent their time investing in romantic relationships, and they devalue female friendships. And... Female friendships are going to last longer than whatever guy you're talking to on a dating app. I'm just saying, on average, on average, if you are good at choosing female friends, they're going to last longer than some random dusty guy that you had to block. And so relationships are actually a big part of what makes your life fun. If you feel like your life is boring or if you feel like your city is boring and it sucks, it's probably because you don't have friends, you don't have any events to go to, and your life is a reflection of yourself. Remember, you're the main character. A man is not the main character. Your, your boss at your job is not the main character. So I like to hang around bougie women because they have the same social climbing goals as me. They want to be in luxurious spaces just like me. So for example, one of the things that I did with my friend group is we went to this really cute, fancy Pilates studio. So you know how sometimes they have where you can like get a class for free or something like that? So all of us signed up and we all went to this really luxurious Pilates place and then we got smoothies. Um, another thing that I have done with friends is going to yoga classes. I've done like a paint and sip with my friend. We've had picnics. So when I think about bougie women, I notice that they are better friends because they are better planners. Think about how much planning goes into being classy. You have to plan out whether it's your outfit, you know, you're kind of planning where you want to live. I've also noticed a pattern where whenever I'm socializing, if I meet like a bougie girl, she tends to live much closer to me versus like a girl who does not come off as bougie. The bougie girls, they all happen to live within about maybe five miles of me, actually even closer, probably within four miles of me, 
because they all have the same social climbing goals. They don't want to be in the ghetto. They don't want to hang out where there are like gunshots outside. And so that's another benefit of having like bougie friends. I think that a lot of people hear that word bougie and they think that it means you think you're better than me. But I don't have an inferiority complex with that term because I never thought anybody else was better than me. So, so I'm not offended by that. So if somebody calls me bougie, it's like, okay, that's fine. And then if somebody calls another woman bougie, that doesn't make me not like her because I'm bougie too. So we can just be bougie together. But another positive thing I've noticed about bougie women is they are much more organized when it comes to planning hangouts. So one of my friends, the one that does project management, she literally planned a hangout. She created a whole flyer. She like texted us the flyer. She was like, okay, meet up at this place. And can we do this type of wardrobe? Or can we wear this, this type of color scheme? Like I had another friend, she was actually the doctor. She was the one where we went to a brunch and she was like, oh, can everybody wear um, different shades of green? So we all like went to this beautiful brunch place. It was like this outdoor patio brunch place. And then we took pictures and we were all wearing the same colors. It was so cute. So I like stuff like that. I like having friends that care enough about their life to the point where they plan and they are like looking through things. Another positive thing is if you have friends that want to be classy and like luxurious, they are scouting Eventbrite or the meetup apps. Maybe they keep up with like what concerts are in town. I know that I'm that type of person. So those are the types of friends I want. Friends that always know what's going on. I've noticed that if I'm around girls who are in survival mode, like maybe they just went through a bad breakup, they don't have any money right now, they need to work 12 hour shifts and stuff, then I have a harder time maintaining the friendship because they literally don't have enough free time to hang out and kind of stop and enjoy life. And so those are the women who, they tend to just not be as much fun to be around because when it comes to conversation topics, they might be talking about how much their job sucks or how they can't pay for certain things. Um, sometimes they might even like trauma dump. And then if you ask them, hey, what kind of stuff do you like to do? They may not even have an answer. So one thing you may wanna ask yourself in terms of social climbing with your friends is, okay, what, what types of social settings do I like to be in? Because that's a part of how I choose my friends. Like, I know that I like to be in very luxurious settings. So for example, if we're gonna go to some sort of bar, I don't drink, um, I don't drink or smoke. So if we're going to a bar or somebody wants to go to some sort of hookah type of place, I rarely go to hookah actually. I think I've only been to hookah maybe about once and I didn't smoke it or anything. I, I don't think it's smoking. Is that smoking when you're doing hookah? I, I noticed that some of them put the thing in their mouths, but I don't know if that's smoking. Anyway, I only went to hookah twice, but I noticed that the groups of girls that I went with, the hookah girls, I noticed that I did not maintain my friendship with them as long. And I think part of it is just because of the environments that they wanted to be in versus my types of environments. So that's something else you can ask yourself. Do I like hookah vibes? Do I like being in uh, musical settings? I know that I really like music. I like being in a setting where I can dance. So I actually, um, me and my friend, we went to a salsa class together. So that was cute. We like did some dancing and stuff. I got to tap into my Latin side, of course. So I like being in outdoorsy musical settings. Um, something else that I've gone to with my friends is if they have like a band playing outdoors. Also, that's something you can ask yourself. What kind of music do I like? What is my favorite culture to make friends in? Because having preferences for friendships, that's not racist. If I prefer to hang out with women of color, or I prefer to hang out with Mexican women, or I prefer to hang out with women who speak Spanish, that's not racist. So that's another question you can ask yourself. What kinds of friends do I like to be around? What culture of women do I hang out with the most? Um, what culture of women are the least jealous of me? Do I get along really well with white girls? Do I get along really well with black girls? Asking yourself questions like that, that's going to help you to determine what your type is. I've also noticed that um, in terms of friends who are in relationships, I've noticed there are two different types of girls. Like there are the girls who will disappear as soon as they get a boyfriend or a husband. And then there are girls who they still like going out, even if they do have a boyfriend. I noticed that I am very much like a busybody. I like to go out. 
I like to explore. So I want friends who have kind of that adventurous spirit. Another question that you can ask yourself is, why do you want friends? That's actually a very important question. Why do you want friends? Um, I know that for me, I only want friends to do things with. That is the number one priority of my friendships. I just want friends to do stuff with. I want friends that want to explore the city just like me if they want to travel or whatever. Um, we don't have to travel far, but just doing things to be in a luxurious setting. That is my goal. I do not want a therapist. I don't want friends to trauma dump on me. I don't want to trauma dump on them. I do not want any drama. I don't want to come sit up, sit around at your house while you smoke or something like that. That's not what I'm looking for in a friend. So I know for some people though, they have different standards. Some people want a friend that they can tell all their secrets to. I am not like that anymore. I kind of feel like as I've gotten older, I just don't see a benefit in telling every single deepest, darkest secret to all of my friends. I just feel like that's something that's more appropriate for a therapist. I don't want to emotionally dysregulate my friends. I also don't want them to emotionally dysregulate me. So if I have a friend that is constantly in a state of trauma, um, like I've had friends in the past who have had abusive boyfriends and stuff, and they're constantly calling me, and then I'm getting stressed out because they'll be saying stuff like, oh, he locked me in a closet. Oh, he just choked me. He just hit me. And I'm like, oh my gosh. And so that gets me all riled up. I don't really want friends like that. Um, I just feel like those types of women... Unfortunately, they're kind of going through this cycle. They may be mentally ill. So how am I going to invite that girl on a vacation or try to go and have fun and she's trying to escape from some crazy guy? Like, I just feel like the vibes don't really go together well. But that's something else you can ask yourself. Why do I want friends? Like, what purpose will my friends serve in my life? Um, I've noticed that, like, the purpose that bougie friends serve is... They invite me to like fun events and stuff. And then when I invite them to classier events, maybe these are events where it costs a little bit of money to get in. They are more down to go to the events. I've also noticed that whenever I'm around bougie women, they don't mind going to cultural events that are like non-black. You know how some people are like, black people don't go kayaking. Black people don't do this. Black people don't do that. I don't like having friends like that because I prefer... Uh, friends who are more cultured. So even though I do have a preference for like black or black adjacent friendships, I've noticed I like the friends who are the bougie ones, the classy ones who won't feel out of place if we go to a vineyard. You know, they won't feel out of place if we go to this really fancy Italian spot or something like that. They're not going to feel overwhelmed like, oh, they were looking at me. They're being racist. I can't deal with friends like that. I can't be around the social justice warrior friends. No, because I'm not making friends so we can protest together. That, that was not the point. The point is I wanted friends to have fun. I wanted friends where we could like give stuff to each other. That's another thing I've noticed too. With my friends who are bougie, not only are the friendships lasting longer, but the, the actual culture of the friendship is different. So with bougie friends, I've noticed they're more generous with me. I am more generous with them. So for example, maybe maybe I decided to be nice and I got her dinner this time. Maybe next time she will get me dinner. I just feel like that is something that you do not see around like ratchet women who, who have this taker's mindset. So that's why I prefer to be around women who are bougie, women who are high class, women who will appreciate my efforts as a friend and they will notice my classiness. And instead of hating on it or being jealous of it, they will actually celebrate it. That's another thing I like about the bougie women. Because they already celebrate themselves, they don't mind celebrating me. So I like that the more bougie women, they tend to recognize the positive qualities within me as opposed to being like, oh my gosh, she thinks she's better. She thinks she's all that. No, they don't do that because they think they're all that as well. So all of us get to think we're all that together. Anyway, what is your friendship type? Let me know in the comment section and I'll talk to you next time. Stay pretty, ladies.